What's up, guys? All right, first episode of That Time I. So what this is is a series where uh, I tell a bunch of stories, things that happen, because uh, a lot of weird stuff has happened to me. So this is the first episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to uh, share, like, and subscribe. So here we go. Uh, this is That Time I ate a quarter of mushrooms and spent three hours in a porta potty. All right. My buddy and I were at a thing called Country Jam, which is a three-day festival in Montana where you just put a tent up in a field and then you hang out for three days and you listen to country music, right? So uh, I think it was a Saturday we were there and Joe Diffie was the main event performing that weekend. Uh, we all know Joe Diffie died, uh, very unfortunate. And he, I'm a huge fan, love his music. So uh, my buddy and I decided we're gonna eat mushrooms and we each had a quarter and he ate an appropriate amount and I ate the whole thing because that's what I do. So, ate a quarter of mushrooms and now we're waiting. So, about an hour goes by, you start to feel it a little bit. If anyone has ever done them, then you know what it's like. You're just kind of off in your own little world. So I had one of my shirts with me, uh, one of my comedy shirts. Uh, some of you may have seen it. Uh, it's called, it has Save a Rap, Ride a Fat Kid on it, right? So what I wanted to do was get a shirt to Joe Diffie so he would wear it or whatever I don't know what I was thinking so I had one of my shirts with me brand new uh, rolled up ready to roll so I decided to go down early so I can get right up front in the concert you know what I mean right in the very front row so that's what I did I went down there this giant field okay with the stage set up outside and I was about the only one down there because I was super early and like I said don't forget about the mushrooms you know so I'm in my own little world and I don't know how much time has went by, it could have been five minutes, could have been an hour, I don't know, you never know, right? So I'm sitting down there waiting, uh, concert's getting a start, right? There was like a warm up band that went up and I'm just focused on the stage, I'm not paying attention to anything around me. I have the shirt, I'm waiting for my opportunity. And then Joe Diffie comes on and one of the first things he said is that all of his shirts got soaked, okay, and he did not have a, dry shirt to wear and I lit up because I was like holy shit I have a shirt right here okay but that was my inside brain not my mushroom brain because I don't know what that was thinking but I had my opportunity to get my shirt to Joe Diffie is what I wanted to do so I balled it up the best I could and during one of his songs I decided it would be appropriate to chuck a shirt at him all right in my mind it was way to go like I got this like he's gonna get my shirt everything's gonna be great but really what ended up happening is I interrupted him during a song and hit him uh, pretty much in the head with a shirt. So once I realized I did that, is also when I realized that when I looked behind me, there was like 5,000 people that weren't there about an hour ago and I had not known and that freaked me out. So I promptly got out of there. I tried to make my way through the crowd. I found my way to a porta potty where I felt I could take safe shelter and I got inside the porta potty now still on a mushroom so I'm not really sure if I was in there for uh, 20 minutes three hours I don't know but my buddy got concerned because he couldn't find me so <laughs> what they started to do and he was he was doing the same thing I was so maybe he was on the same wavelength where he decided you know what I'm gonna go look in a porta potty so what they did is uh, they when they got close to this giant line of porta potties, right? Uh, they called my cell phone, and uh, at that time the ringtones were popular. So I had Disturbs uh, down with the sickness uh, as a ringtone. So like every couple of minutes, my phone would just do the oh wow, right? And I would kind of get into it and jam and not pay attention to what was happening. But luckily, they heard the cell phone on the outside of the porta potty, and uh, they found me. I was in there for about a good three hours just hanging out in the porta potty uh, all because I chucked a shirt at Joe Diffie and uh, yeah it just did not go well for me so that is the time I ate a quarter of mushrooms and uh, was trapped in a porta potty for three hours so I'll leave a link uh, make sure you guys share like and subscribe I appreciate you I got some more stories coming so thanks a lot